I was contacted by Mano and sent a mic to review the Mano PM500 large diaphragm condenser. This guy right here is one. Is it any good? It's somewhat nerdy stuff and it's coming right up. So, good day and welcome to the Time Preservation Society. I'm Atreyu. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified the minute new content drops. Cheers. I don't know about you, but I have never heard of Maano. Mono. I want to say Mayono. Look how it's written. Right? But it's apparently pronounced Mano, but I think in Swahili it's Maano. I think that's how they say it. I, I might be wrong. If there's anyone out there that speaks Swahili, uh, please feel free to correct me in the comments below. Anyway, they sent me an email and asked if I was interested in testing out their large diaphragm condenser mic. Well, I do like mics, so after reviewing the BFL, the Bifaley 414 mic, I was curious if cheap mics are finally getting competitive with the more expensive ones, so I, uh, I agreed to review it. The PM500 arrived very quickly and well packaged. It's a nice, it's a nice box. It's nice. I'll, I'll tell you that. You're hearing it right now. This is the mic. The mic in question. Let's, uh, maybe let's read some copy. <clears throat> I'm going to read you verbatim an excerpt from the Moano website in their About Us section. Once again, I'm going to read this verbatim. <clears throat> <clears throat> Quote, Back in 2014, Alex, the founder of Maano, was working in Africa and happened to have a chance to learn the culture of Africa. He was impressed by the richness of the African continent and the diversity of culture and also the feel, the yug, musical, natural, of people while they are dancing barefoot around the bonfire. He starts to think about the way to obtain happiness and the future of next generation and how we can start building a brand that represents happiness for our children. One day, Alex asks the local people in Africa how to say vision in their own language. Here comes Maano. This is the original intention of Maano. A company created for the future stands for vision, believes vision drives technology, and focuses on professional audio products innovation, especially for the fast-growing young generations who like to podcast themselves and share their moments on the internet. End quote. Well, I've been known to podcast myself on occasion. I don't know about you. Poor English aside, and honestly, zero blame whatsoever, English as a second language is about the hardest to learn because it's the language of morons and it makes no sense. That aside, you've heard the mic. Before I go into my thoughts and all that stuff and tests, let's have a look at it. This is a well-packaged mic. The box is well-made and looks great, like I said earlier. Inside are two levels of goodies. On the first level, you'll find the mic, a cool-looking shock mount, and a pop filter that attaches to the shock mount. There's also a user manual. On the second level, you'll find a mic stand, base, and neck, along with a cable. They've provided you everything you'll need to begin broadcasting from home or whatever. That's very cool. I find the cheaper microphone companies usually provide more accessories with the mic you're buying than the expensive companies do. Let me talk about the shock mount for a minute. It's actually not bad at all. It's plastic and elastic and maxing all cool. <coughs> Sorry. What intrigued me was the metal threads that attach to the mic stand. Many very expensive mics just have plastic. They wear out over time. I'm not sure about now, but the AKG C414 had plastic threads on theirs, and that's a $1,300 microphone. 
So kudos to Maano for going that little bit extra and making something that will last. The mic itself is quite cheap looking and it has an internet microphone look to it. It's all black and has the Maano logo on the front. The front and back look basically identical. The grill is rigid and there's no give whatsoever. It's got some weight to it. I'm not a fan of the body style, but you may be. The judgment of its looks is completely subjective. However, the body is made from zinc alloy and is designed as an electromagnetic shield. That's cool. Inside is a 34 millimeter gold sputtered electric condenser capsule that captures from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It has a max sound pressure level of 120 decibels. It has an XLR connector and requires 48 volt phantom power to operate. So you'll need an audio interface or recorder with phantom power. This isn't a USB mic, although it does kind of appear like it would be. It weighs about 370 grams. So it's not that heavy, but it's heavy. It measures, oh, hold on a second. Let me just find my trusty old measuring tape here. <laughs> you know, this measuring tape was recently made by a paradoxically self-conscious NPC named Guy. I picked it up in Free City in 2021. <laughs> anyway, it measures seven inches long, two inches wide, and 1.5 inches thick. You know, I do the inches thing for all you Americans watching. You're welcome. This microphone was primarily designed to be an internet mic, or so much of the website tells me. Although this mic can also be used for music recording, of course. Um, so instead of doing some acoustic guitar recording or other recordings of instruments, I I'm going to put it next to other similarly priced mics to hear the difference. Uh, so... So here is the $50 by Faley C414 that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. And uh, this is the sound of that mic. And that's what you're hearing right now is this $50 Alibaba mic. Um, so this is what that sounds like. And now we're going to go back to the other mic. And now you're hearing uh, the Maano PM500. And this is what it sounds like. Once again, the by Faley C414. And this is what that sounds like. Now let's hear the difference between uh, just a bit higher priced of a mic. Uh, let's go with the Rode NT1. So right now you're hearing the Rode NT1, and this is the sound of the Rode NT1. And let's compare it with the Maano uh, PM500 uh, once again. Here we go. And here it is. This is the sound of the Maano PM500, and this is what this sounds like. And let's go back one more time, and now we're on the Rode NT1, and this is what the Rode NT1 sounds like. So what do you think? What do you think of this sound? What do you think of the comparisons? Uh, the Rode NT1 is known as a quite flat mic, and as cheap mics go, it's not that cheap, but it's cheap enough that it normally, um, th these mics have a really high, sharp, shrill, distorted high end, but the, uh, the NT1 is pretty flat. So that's the difference. All right. And back to the Mono PM500. Just for sharts and stipends, I was going to do the DLX, uh, but I don't think it's fair. I was going to do it, but I'm not going to do it. If you want me to do that, let me know, and I will I will do a comparison, but I wasn't, I wasn't going to bring that out. It's not really fair to this mic. You'll see why soon. So I guess that means it's time for... Analysis. I'm, uh, I'm not the biggest fan. It's by no means bad. It's a decent sounding mic. It's pretty rich sounding, but there's a fundamental flaw. I don't know if you've detected it yet. There is a resonant frequency that's really bugging me. And it's not just me. Before I reviewed this mic, I recorded a raw sample of me talking into the mic, just like this, and then I sent it to the Assassination Discord server. Assassin Nation. Not Assassination. Assassin Nation Discord server, uh, which I partake in and, and uh, contribute to. Um, there's all kinds of really knowledgeable microphone people there. A lot of mic builders, too. It's funny, Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, the microphone assassin himself, said the body reminded him of one of those battery-powered lint shavers you use to clean a sweater. <laughs> anyway, I uploaded the sample without saying what the mic was or the cost. 
they agreed there was a resonant frequency somewhere around 1500 hertz. And I think I know where that's coming from. It's the body. The body has a resonance to it. Listen. Oh, that's bad. I mean, that is bad, bad, bad. It shouldn't sound like that. Somewhere around there, you can hear it. And it, uh, you can hear it if you, like, a, this is with the shock mount and everything. The cable, it has that kind of, kind of bugging me there. It also has a really annoying frequency at around, uh, I don't know, 175 hertz or so. Now, luckily, this can be somewhat repaired with a simple EQ setting on a parametric EQ. Um, and when I mean repaired, I mean as long as you're not tapping the mic or moving it around, that resonant frequency can be slightly mitigated. So anyway, let's uh, turn on EQ right there. And here's what it sounds like with a little subtractive EQ and a little bump at around 10K. It makes it sound like a much more expensive mic uh, like this, doesn't it? And I actually kind of like it this way. So I'm going to keep that EQ setting on for just a minute and then I'll switch it off. Um, I would like to say that I like the shock mount, but I don't like the included pop screen. I didn't test it. Well, I did test it, but I'm not showing you here because I don't want to destroy the mic with my uh, mouth hole breath uh, because it, it, it did not work very well at all. <laughs> but you didn't buy it for that. Uh, it, but it's better than nothing. If you've got nothing, then it's better than nothing. I, usually when these kits come with all kinds of stuff, you, you can't expect everything in that kit is amazing. I'm never going to use the cable that came with it. Maybe it can be, uh, I don't know, harvested for copper, or maybe there's a catalytic converter in there somewhere. I'm never going to use it. Okay, turning off the EQ. The little stand is really cool. <laughs> it's cheap, but it is effective, I will say. It, this little thing it was really unexpected. It's got some. It's got a heavy weight to it. Like it's it's heavy. So together, um, you know, it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a nice little stand. Uh, the mic is a bit noisier than I'd like, uh, but nothing that's that really can't be easily fixed with a cheaper denoiser plug-in. Let's just hear it for a sec. Like a. It's like there's a furnace on somewhere, but there's no running anything here. Anyway, there is no huge sibilance problem. Sibilance. It's not that bad. It's actually, there's there's no sibilance problem, which is indicative of cheap mics, the sibilance problem. Usually you find that, so that's good. Okay, so all in all, with the EQ added, I think this mic is pretty good, especially when you hear the price. You can own a Mono PM500 for $159.99. That's it. Look at that. I've, uh, I've included a link to purchase it in the description below, which I stand to make a massive commission on, apparently. And I have a 10% off coupon code as well if you so wish, wish to save an additional 10%. Be sure to use it to save that moolah. Compared with a Rode NT1, which is about $270, this guy right here, um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. As a mic snob, I don't love this mic. As a mic snob. But it doesn't suck. I've heard plenty of way more expensive, crappier sounding mics. So it's just, it's not amazing. That's all I'm going to say. The Rode NT1A is a very bad mic in my opinion, as you might know. But uh, what do you think? Because that's what it comes down to. Everybody has their own tastes. This mic may sound amazing to you. And don't feel bad if you thought it sounded great and it disagrees with my take. Remember, I'm just some guy. And audio tastes are personal. There's no right or wrong, just what you prefer. If you're into podcasting or streaming or music, this mic will do you fine. As long as your room is treated, it is a large diaphragm condenser mic. And as such, it will pick up your entire room. So make sure that it's treated if you're using large diaphragm condensers. So there you have it. 
the Mono PM500. Tell me what you think in the comments and hurry. The nothing is spreading. Bye now. In transmission. Oh, good. You focused on the hand. Very nice. I like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Quiet. Watch these other videos. These ones right there. Watch them. <laughs> yes, indeed. Real quiet. Uh, goodbye.